In this video, I'll walk through how to configure a monitoring point deletion policy in AppNeta. Monitoring points that don't connect back to the AppNeta service for extended periods of time do not provide value, they consume licenses, and they clutter various screens and reports. This is especially true for organizations with large numbers of native monitoring points installed on employee workstations. These are typically deployed in large numbers, and as employees leave an organization, Manually deleting the monitoring point from AppNeta is often not a top priority. As of AppNeta version 16.5, organization admin users now have the option to use the API to create a monitoring point deletion policy for a specific AppNeta organization. The policy defines how long a monitoring point must be offline before it's automatically deleted from AppNeta. Durations can be set for each type of monitoring point individually and an optional default policy can be added to cover any other types not specified in the policy. By default, organizations do not have a deletion policy configured, and creating a policy is optional. Before we look at how to create and manage the policy, there are a few things to consider and to be mindful of when adding a new policy. Once a monitoring point is deleted, all related historical data will also be deleted and cannot be recovered. So be careful when setting the policy and make sure your team is comfortable with the duration of offline time before a monitoring point and historical data is deleted from AppNeta. A policy will delete an offline monitoring point based on the date it went offline, not the date the policy is created. Any monitoring points that have already been offline for the specified duration will be queued for deletion. Deletion will then begin within 24 hours of creating the policy. To create a new deletion policy for an organization, access the AppNeta API from the Gear menu. Then, navigate to the Monitoring Point Deletion Policy Endpoint, expand the Post operation, and click Try It Out. A few parameters are needed in the body. The org ID is an integer specific to the organization the policy will apply to, the OS type, which is the specific type of monitoring point, and an integer representing the number of days that the type of monitoring point must be offline before it's automatically deleted. To find the org ID, I can either right-click and inspect the organization name in the AppNeta UI, or I can use the organization endpoint to retrieve all organizations my user has access to, find the right organization in the response, and copy the ID value. One thing to note here is that child organizations like this one do not inherit the policy from their parent organization. If the parent and child organizations both need policies, we would need to create them separately. The only impact the parent organization's policy would have on the child organization is that if a monitoring point is shared from parent to child, deletion of that shared monitoring point is controlled by the policy of the parent organization. Now that we have the org ID, we can add it to the request. The policy will be created specific to this organization. Next, to identify the valid OS types, we could use the appliance endpoint to retrieve all monitoring points in the organization, or we could copy the type from the monitoring points page, or we can refer to the AppNeta documentation to get a list of all valid OS types. Then when entering the policy parameters, the offline duration for an OS type must be at least 30 days and no more than 365 days. And adding an OS type of default will apply a policy to all monitoring point types that aren't explicitly listed in the policy. For this example, I'll create a policy where Windows and Mac OS native monitoring points are deleted after being offline for 90 days, and all other monitoring point types are deleted automatically after 365 days offline. Then click Execute and review the response. The server response section will show a code in the 200s if the policy was created successfully. An error code might be returned if an OS type isn't spelled correctly, or if there's already an existing policy for the specified organization. This policy is now active for my organization. Any monitoring points that were already offline for the specified duration will be queued for deletion, 
along with all their historical data, including network paths and web paths, where the monitoring point is the path source, and any usage data collected by the monitoring point. There are a few other actions we can take with the API. To view an organization's existing monitoring point deletion policy, use the get operation. Click Try it out, then specify the org ID for the organization in the parameters section, and click Execute. The server response section shows a code in the 200s for a successful request, and the policy is shown in the response body. To modify a policy, copy the existing policy returned by the get and paste it into a put operation. Click Try it out, delete the body, and paste the existing policy. Next, make any changes to the policy. For example, we could add another monitoring point type. Then execute the put operation to update the policy. Again, the server response will show a code in the 200s for a successful request, and any errors will include a message indicating why the request failed. To turn off the monitoring point deletion policy for an organization, use the delete operation. Click Try it out, specify the org ID for the relevant organization, and click Execute. If the operation is successful, the server response section will show code 204 to indicate the policy was deleted. AppNeta tracks changes to the monitoring point deletion policy and records of deleted monitoring points. Organization admin users can download the audit CSV from the gear menu in AppNeta to review changes to the policy and monitoring points deleted by the policy. So there you have it. With just a simple API request, organization admins can set up an organization-wide policy to delete monitoring points that don't connect back to the AppNeta service for extended periods of time, freeing up licenses and decluttering various screens and reports. Thanks for watching. <laughs>